Nishan, what is that fight between you and your mom? Mom tells she doesn't love me. Mom tells she doesn't love you and look at you, you are so happy. Are you not worried? No. Why? She might say that but I know that she heartily loves me. Oh, that is the secret. It is just like quasi contracts. Papa, what is quasi contracts? Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari. Just like Nishan, you might be thinking that what are quasi-contracts. In my today's class, let us try understand the term quasi-contracts. Why to waste time? Let's get into the first slide. One important aspect that you need to remember before even we start this session is whenever I am giving some illustration with Nishan or whenever I take some real life incidents, they are not legal elements. I am giving those concepts so that you can understand the concept. That is my attempt. Now here in this case where there was a fight between Nishan and Nishan's mom and Nishan's mom says she doesn't love Nishan but Nishan is not worried because he is quite confident that his mom loves him heartily. Now that is the concept. In contracts also there are few contracts where there are essentials of contracts are not covered. Even then in the eyes of law the contracts are exist or considered as valid contracts and they are quasi contracts. Now if I say that's all, you will not understand. So what will we do? We'll try understand the meaning of quasi. Then we will try understand where exactly this term used for the first time and which are the important sections that we are going to cover as far as quasi contracts are concerned in contract law one. Why to waste time? Let's start with term quasi. The word quasi is a Latin word which means as if or almost. Now the dictionary meaning for quasi is apparently but not really or seemingly or being partly or almost. Now there is one beautiful Roman maxim which says lacule tari ex aliana jactura which means no man must grow rich because of one's personal loss. If somebody is becoming rich because of a loss to another that is not okay which is what this Roman maxim says and that is the base of this concept which is quasi contract. Now how to understand quasi contract? I have few important points here. Let us go through them and try understand how exactly we need to understand quasi contracts. What are the essentials of a valid agreement? Offer and acceptance. Now valid agreements are the basis of valid contract. So every contract will have offer and acceptance. So there are two parties which are discussing and finalizing the offer and acceptance and then they come to agreement. Now in the absence of agreement, if one party becomes rich at the cost of another party, in that case law can put an obligation to both the parties saying that there is contract available and those contracts are known as quasi contracts. These contracts are also called as equity contract or good conscience contract or constructive contract or many other ways. Now what are the illustration that we can see? Imagine there are two persons, one Mr. A and one Mr. X. Now A is a owner of particular home and X is the tenant in that particular home. And the agreement between them is X will pay monthly rent to Mr. A which involves all the water bill, electricity bill and other maintenance. So X has to make monthly rent payment, that's all. But one fine day electricity board people come to the home and start disconnecting the electricity. Now X is being tenant, he asks the electricity board people that what happened. They say that A has not paid certain electricity bill so they are disconnecting. Now X asks what is the due amount. They say some 1500 rupees. So what does X do? X pays 1500 rupees on behalf of A because he needs the electricity. Now, a has the responsibility to pay that money back to Mr. X because he cannot become rich at the expense of X or loss of Mr. X. That is what exactly we are going to discuss in section 69 also. Now I am not getting to any kind of section details but this is one of the beautiful example that you can remember. There is no agreement between A and X that X will make the payment for electricity but on behalf of A X has made the payment of electricity to ensure that that power is not disconnected and at the same time A has the responsibility to pay back to Mr. X though there is no agreement between them on that particular aspect. That is how you need to understand quasi contract. To make it easy 
there is no agreement between A and X to pay the electricity bill to electricity board. Even in the absence of such agreement, X has made the payment to electricity board. Now, A has the responsibility or the legal obligation to pay it back to Mr. X that particular amount and that is all about quasi-contracts. Now, the next interesting question is, who found this theory? This theory is found by Lord Mansfield in the case law of Moses versus McFarlane by saying that there should not be unjust enrichment at the cost of the other. So that was the base for this entire concept that there should not be any unjust enrichment to one person at the cost of another. Now by saying this he became the founder of this particular theory. The final part of this particular discussion is the five sections or the five important types of quasi contracts which are discussed under Indian Contract Act that is section 68 which discusses about supply of necessary goods to incapable persons and section 69 discusses about lawful dues paid by the interested party which is what we discussed as an illustration and section 70 which discusses about person enjoying benefit of the gratuitous act and section 71 discusses about finder of goods and section 72 discusses about goods or anything delivered by mistake or coercion. Now if I just read out these sections you will not understand anything and being my students I know you must be expecting much more than that. Now I have that responsibility so in my next video I am going to explain each of those terms very clearly section by section along with beautiful case laws so that you have beautiful answer for this particular question. Just like Nishan's mom's love for Nishan, it is not visible but it is existing. The quasi contracts are not visible like there is no agreements or there is no clear terms between the parties or most of the time the parties are not even met. In that case also in the eyes of law the quasi contracts are available. Now to understand this in detail we need to go through all the five sections which are five different types of quasi contracts which I am going to discuss in my next session along with the beautiful illustrations which are given in the act itself and I am bringing in lot of case laws. With that I am concluding this particular session. Thank you so much if you have already subscribed my channel. If not this is your time to subscribe my channel. Please like share and comment my videos. All the very best for whatsoever purpose you are watching my video and thanks again.